Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, sometimes the best move is not to make a move at all. So what we're gonna do right now is we could get True Health, but I don't know if we necessarily need it. Um, I think what we need to do, I think what we need to do is uh, wait. I think what we need to do is wait and get rocket launchers when they become available to us because we've got the tokens to max them out. We've got the tokens to maximize them. So there's no reason in my mind, to not add rocket launchers right now. Um, the troop damage is going to help, for sure. The heavy choppers are going to be nice, for sure. But we don't seem to need them right now. Because we also have heavies, right? That's the that's the big thing, is we took that lower path early on the season to get troop health. Now, um, this is where ideally that's going to pay off by, unlock, by already having heavies unlocked by the time we get to heavy choppers, maxing them out. Um, but I think if we're going to do Heavy Chopper Rush, we definitely want to have that troop damage. I think we definitely want to have that troop damage. Um, I think that's going to be huge. And we're also going to be going against bases that have three shock launchers. Um, I don't think anybody has the Sky Shield yet, at least not at you know where I'm at. So I think the best move sometimes, guys, is to not make a move at all. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So yeah. We'll have to we'll have to uh, we'll have to make that decision for right now. We're gonna get into some live hits and see if we can continue on this win streak. Let's see if we can uh, if we can bring this right up to the purple rank. So far, we haven't been having many issues, but we also haven't been facing a ton of rocket bases. So we'll have to see, um, you know, where that is going to where that is going to lead. Um, but yeah, bombardiers definitely very very good. Okay, here's the test. This is the test. This is it. This is a hundred building health. Uh, with rock launchers, this guy has 150 DVD, uh, uh, sorry, troop damage as well. So we'll be able to take a look at what he's doing uh, to us um, at kind of the same time. So let's go one, one, two, three, and then one, one over on this side, just to get things opened up, just to get things nicely opened up for us. Now you'll see the difference here from yesterday's video. Um, on these bases, we don't want to have to deal with too many mines. The mines are going to be what ruins us. So, if we can figure out a way to not have to deal with them, that is great. And I'm going to keep this rocket down. Adding in that extra GB should help a little bit. And if we can keep all this stuff shocked and just kind of exchange it, um, I think the better base now is not going to be the compact one. Because too many people have shock bombs and bombers and it can really shut the base down now obviously if we let this stuff fire at us for a second we're toast so we got to uh we got to keep you know keep shocking but i mean the attack is fairly easy this was the big test with was if we were able to clear these bases um because you see how quickly those amped up rockets they one shot they one shot those uh those riflemen so something to be careful about now, I'm going to start sprinkling in some explosive drones, yes, to distract, but mostly just to get some extra chip um, and keep that, those shock launchers off of us. There we go. Okay, we're coming into the end here. we got some boom cannons, some stuff, some gross stuff still hitting us. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, boom cannon. You should turn on those drones. Okay, there we go. So we got the base pretty well dead to rights. And, okay, nice. Now we're just going to keep throwing drones kind of in the middle of all these engines here. I don't want to hit, um, don't want to hit that shock mine. But we're trying to go here just purely in terms of speed and time. This is where the troop damage is going to come in nice. Um, let's see. Not a lot of chip, admittedly, from the explosive drones. It takes them a long time to get through, eh? It takes them a long time to get through. Okay. Let's see, that uh, that flare cost me a drone. Oh my god, that was not very fast. You see how much the rockets really slow us up too, okay? So that might be something to uh, some, something to consider. Look at this, guys. We got a fizzler. We got a fizzler. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Okay, that's good news. I think what we'll do is we'll keep this video going. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. This guy's going to take forever now. Come on, dude. You're not going to get that with 90 seconds. You're not going to get anything here. 
You're just simply wasting time. So I think what we'll do is we'll keep the video going. I'm going to get off that just in case he does retreat. Um, so we'll keep this going here and we'll see if we potentially have a 21 push. That guy took forever, so let's dive into the next one here, guys. Um, and we'll see. So basically that's the only change we're making. We're going 3-5 on the bases without rocket launchers, and we're going 4-4 on the bases with them. So let's take a look-see here. Now this guy does have rockets, but they're kind of wimpy. They're kind of wimpy. Um, so I think we're going to add more bombardiers in. So let's start off. We're going to go 1-1-2. One, one, Flare. Okay, and then we're gonna go. We're gonna go one, one over here. I could have dropped them earlier, but whatever. Shouldn't make too much of a difference. I wanted them to kind of carve around and hit the hit those rockets first, but they're not going to do that for us. Um, let's start working on these mines because there are a lot of them. And just keep in mind, your, your golden critters are going to go directly at wherever your troops are. So they're not like normal critters where they're going to walk towards the defenses. So it's a little bit more annoying to um, to figure out where their, uh, where their pathing is going to go exactly. Uh, -ba -ba. All right, let's, we're getting ready to go in. Let's go one, two, three. Got to time that, got to time that well. Shock down here. These guys should go this way, is what I'm thinking. They should turn. Excellent. All right, that's good. That's where we needed them to go. Just got to watch that shock launcher over on that other side. Um, okay. I think I missed the shock launcher. Oh, no, we got it. Okay. Oh, that's annoying, dude. Get out of here. I don't want to have to double shock across. That's not going to be... Not going to be ideal. But I think we're going to have to... Shock there, shock there. Gotta get that hot pot down. And, okay, are they, can you guys deal with that stuff? Um, shock like that. Um, come on, guys. Come on, come on. You're not helping me out. Stupid things. Not helping me out at all. We got one bomber left over there. So splitting up the shocks there killed us. That ruined this attack. That's really annoying because that was a very easy hit otherwise. Oh, come on, man. How's the boom cannon not down? Are you kidding me? Oh, dude, that's just straight up unlucky. That's just dumb. I thought we were going to have our... Uh, That's frustrating, because that was a very easy win. That was a very easy win. I don't know what happened, but let's just keep moving. So, anyways, at least we're on the we're on the right path. Um, and things are going slowly but surely in the right direction. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for the video today, guys. No diamond push, unfortunately, but uh, moving along, moving along, going in the right, the right way. And we just got to figure out what tech we're going to unlock next. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Catch the next one. Check it out. Back, back.